Ohio baseball needed the series against Bowling Green, and they got the series win of the Falcons at Bob Wren Stadium. I'm Russ Eisenstein. The voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Our recaps are supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. For the first time since 2011, Ohio University baseball won a series over Bowling Green, taking it two games to one. The Bobcats improved to 22 and 24, and 8 and 10 to the Mid-American Conference. They needed it because the ultimate goal is to qualify for the upcoming MAC tournament. Two weekends left, next weekend at Bowling Green, and then the final weekend against Kent State. You don't want to need wins against the Flashes, so Ohio needs to pick up as many games before that series as they can get. And they got it. Pitching and defense collided in game one. Ohio blew out BG 9-1. Ryder is out of Michigan. West Bloomfield, bouncer right back to the mound, speared in a snow cone fashion by Salisbury, slipped on the mound, but then threw to first in time. And the pitch from Anderson. Little cue shot down the line and right. It is a fair ball by a foot, and it will roll into the corner, and it means a run. It's a stand-up double for Tony Giannini. Scoring from second is Callery, looking for his second punch out. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got it there with a high fastball. Road flew out and walked tonight. Anderson on the ropes and the pitch to Rudy. Fly ball to right. It carries a bit. Back to the warning track in front of the wall and that ball's gone. Grand slam home run for Rudy Rhodes. And just like his GPA, which is a four pointer, he puts up four on the board with one swing of the bat. And Ohio leads it six to nothing. The next one from Salisbury. Bouncing ball, weakly hit towards short. Finkler charges, settles, sidearm throw, low to first, but Rote makes the play. And the pitch from Salisbury. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is K number six. And the punch out ends the fifth. And the pitch. Rudy swings and lines one fair. Down the line and right, it will go into the corner. It could clear the bases. Hitting third and coming in to score, Ibera. Green light on for Black, rounding third. The throw is cut off by Dravis. There is no play at the plate, and Ohio leads it 8-1. to one. Two more ribbies for Rudy Rhodes. 2-0. Bouncing ball towards short. To his left is Glansman. Can't make the play. It rolls into center field. Hitting third and trying to score now is Callery. The throw is up the third base side but he eludes the tag and crumples in there for a run. 0-2 oh the count, two gone, bases clear in the ninth, and the pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Pitching and offense collide, and Ohio wins. Ohio wins, Ohio wins. Nine was a magic number again on Saturday. Nine for the final, pitching, hitting, and defense all collided for a complete cat win. Seven strikeouts, the 0-2. High chopper over the mound, near the bag at second, back of the bag, black. Plants throws to first in time to get Basilega. The 0-1, rather 1-1 one, one coming. High chopper towards short, backing up Finkler. Tough play, long throw to first and he got him. 1-2 pitch, hit on the ground to first. Rudy wrote down on one knee to get it. Runs and wins the race to the bag for the out in East Central Indiana. Line shot to right, base hit. Hitting third and stopping is Klein. Now taking second without a play is Connor Callery. And the pitch to Tony is laced on the ground underneath the third baseman Menorik and in the left base hit. Ohio on top 3-2 on a single by Tony Giannini. Off pitch with the runners on the corners. There's a fly ball to center. It is carrying. It's towards left center field and it will get down and roll to the track. Scoring from third is Callery. Two third is Giannini. It's a stand up RBI double for Evan Bourne and Ohio leads it 4-2. Bourne at 200 hitters come through. This is line to left base hit on pitch one to Finkler. Scoring is Giannini. Rounding third and scoring without a play is Bourne. It's an RBI single to left for Finkler and the Bobcats have broken out for four in the fourth. That's appropriate. The pitch from Carey, fly ball to right center field and deep, way back and off the wall. Rounding second and going to third is Ibera, stop side on. Eighth appearance, he's one and four with a 6-3-7 ERA and a wild one gets away from Mott, back to the backstop and this is a six run, fourth inning for Ohio. 0-1 pitch, 
Chopped towards second, could be two. Finkler flips to black for one. On to first, rack him up, and how about that twin killing? Og looking for his first strikeout of the day. Doesn't get it, but he might get a double play. Finkler to black for one. On to first, yes sir, inning done. What's better than a strikeout? A pitcher's best friend, a twin killing. Baird for Randy Ryder. Swing and a bouncing ball to third. Easy for Callery. Throws to first. Got him. Ball game. Series win. Ohio wins. Ohio wins. Nine to four over Bowling Green. The sweep was on the line on Sunday. Ohio hadn't swept BG since 2006, but the Falcons salvaged a wild one. 5-4. 1 1 pitch. Bouncing ball to short, Finkler has that. Sunday hop on Sunday, throws to first in time with the stretch from Rudy Rowe. 0-2 pitch, called strike three. Coletti closes the second with a K. And a tidally spun 1-2-3 rack. If you picked 5-11, 5-1, 11 5-1, 11-14. Bouncing ball to first, picked up there off the bag and a lob over to Coletti covering. And uh, yep, there's the out and the inning is done. This has been a tough team for Ohio to play over the years. Taking one game in each of the last five series. Line drive, right center field, going to get down and get through the gap and get all the way to the wall. Hitting third and coming in to score is Finkler. Ibera flying around third. There will be no play. Tie game on an RBI two-bagger for Rudy Rowe. A two-RBI double, in fact. Back-to-back, -back, one, two, three racks. Runner goes, swing, and a line drive to left center field. It is in the gap, and it will roll all the way to the wall, and it's going to bring home a run. Mott wheeling around third, and he'll score without a play. It is 4-2 Bowling Green on an RBI double to the gap in left center field. Rowan props up that arm as he looks in for the sign. Wipes to a new pitch in the 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss, strike three. Rowan slams the door in the eighth. And the pitch from Landy. Bouncing ball speared by Landy on the mound. Throws to second, but it gets into center field. And going to third on the play is Klein. Runners on the corners, nobody out on the air. And the pitch, Bunt put down right in front of the mound, looks at home, run comes in to score, throw to first in time. From the stretch, here it is, loop to first, under the glove of the diving rider and in the right, green light on for Callery, up with the ball and right and throwing a Scott, the throw to the plate is in time, the tag is not, and Ohio ties the game. The one-two pitch. Outside, got past Morosla. Wild pitch, BG leads, 5-4. The next one is popped up, back of home, near the third base dugout now, and the ball is caught by Doherty. And Bowling Green wins. So Ohio meets Marshall on Tuesday, then they'll shuffle off to Buffalo for what would have been a big series anyway, but it's further magnified for the fact that Buffalo is dropping their program and these are the final three home games they'll ever have. So they'll probably have more media there to cover what is going to be an emotional Friday, Saturday, and Sunday series. Buffalo, they're certainly trying to qualify for the MAC tournament and Ohio is too. So that's a big one in advance of the Kent State series. That will be the final regular season contest of the year. The ultimate goal is to not have to get wins against the Flashes to qualify for the up upcoming tournament. Albeit in a loss on Sunday, it still was a winning weekend for the Cats, and they get it done over BG for the first time since 2011, winning 9-1, 9-4, and losing 5-4. Happy birthday to Jason Chapino, and thanks to him and Derek Mashiro for the good work this weekend. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Our recaps are presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. This is Bobcat TV.